serious work but we won't be seeing too much action for hazed early in this round as it's all of renegades playing towards a and unsurprisingly they look to explode onto the ace side here but drone gets a better win some and then retreats back to the shadows there cool. in heaven pretty safely retro already circles around and clears the elbow all of mythical is starting to group up well there's a couple players in screens here and with the paranoia they push out they're going to try and overwhelm retro that works One out broker from ramps and he'll get the job done there nicely done by down so call it what you will this time renegades a little bit more nuanced in their approach but it will be a barrier orb used by Hayes over on the big side that's going to make that a pain for renegades to try and break through Blue gets rid of win some there as well after already another kill on Bergy actually happens through the middle of the map. So Mythicals are in control right now and Renegade's options are extremely limited. Maybe they try and get out of here with a flash point. Yes, they do. Push around the corner. Drone though, combining with Roka, shuts that push down. This round's all but done. Should be a flawless coming through. CP2 tries to take the tower control resistance. Blue might want to go for a swing, but punish right away. There's going to be Roka catching Randy on the other side of the map, though, so they know it's not going to be A, and Roka's going to go for the rotate. Drone, serious face on, tries to push ahead of the slow field that was put down. No good. Now, Renegades are stacked up here. It's interesting. They stagger up their push towards this B side by posting up inside heaven for quite a long time. Winsome is down by Hayes as he tries to blast charge himself across the map. It's a 2v3 now. Mid and Roka have to try and retake from heaven and or the latter has already fed himself to the beast that is retro. Spike planted. Myth yeah. captain here. Talking about beast match. Let's see if Myth can do it. We'll have to get the first kill, but retro cleans him up. That's the three in the hand. The rifle going out. 4v4. Empress available as well. I don't know that uh, Mythical can really do anything about that. Well, they need a gun. They have another kill. They can pick up something on the floor. Hayes might find a time to win some as well. They surely know. Yeah, there it is. That is now the opportunity. Hayes for sure has a weapon available, but the Neural Theft has revealed the positioning. Hayes, nothing to work with here. Uh, and doesn't have the weapon. Only the Sheriff. So no opportunity to pick that up off the site. Randy Savage knows exactly what they'll come through, especially Hayes will give away his position the moment that he touches the Cyber Cage. Right now, he's just trying to mess with randy savage a little bit and it actually stops the plant time is short but hey he's happening being split specifically coming through from renegade spike terror is going to be from Berge over towards main they already lose cp2 3v3 though that's the trade hayes out here with randy savage and now a 1v1 just happening on this piece site Berge wins it out and a retro fights with across the map now this is bad it's just drone in a 1v2 post plant scenario that cloud burst is about to dissipate and won't reveal anything has all of the Renegades players remaining. Number they flashes. are long gone. I mean, Drone has to clear. I mean, Drone has about 32 angles that he needs to clear. And <laughs> That's true. Only adds one flash to do it. This is one of the most uh, difficult places to push from here without utility. And making noise. Drone wants to try and take the fight. And yeah, a little bit too tall in order for him to satisfy. And the Renegade on the move accuracy of some of these weapons is unbelievable sometimes. Now, you do have to stop moving the plant uh, spike, so we, we at least allow that. Winston, there was a flash there on the myth. And I mean, he's already giving away his position there. No chance to really bounce back from that one. The 4v1 and drone. Not nearly enough. Renegades winning that modifier round, already being so from Sage. Maybe that is a little bit difficult without the util to set it up. Towards ramp though. Oh my! Roka gets. Uh, yeah, he never really had a chance I there. Winston exactly. just runs him down. Blue, paint shell back away. Drone able to support her there by finding retro. And that buys precious seconds here for mythicals as they all get ready to move down ramp so there is going to be drone on the flank here and the resurrect on the roker this is what i was looking for this is now sage starting to find some serious value in blue she takes to the skies it's most of the damage done there and randy savage gets finished it's drone on the late lurk from ramp to get the job done and that's a god's heaven and what a bamboozle from mythicals that's going to be another patented 900 IQ play coming up from Hazed and Co. And that's going to be also, unfortunately for them, losing a play despite getting the spike down. Renegades, full five-man retake. Berger, like you mentioned, can do nothing to stop the pressure. Just has to wait for the teammates. Now that they're here, let's see what you two are left because there's no you two are win some. We'll have to get this kill. It's fairly even. It's 3v3 match. That flash in the back corner remaining. doesn't seem to bother Drone, though, as he finds his remaining. third for the round. Retro in a 1v1. Trying to deal with Myth here, the man, the legend, the Myth falls, and it's three for Retro. Pistol round going up towards mid, and I think Renegade, so they respect this one. When some might be forced to, the slow orb is there. I, mean, I think Winsome still wants to push. There has to be some round made. Surely, there's no way Mythicals expect Winsome to peek into mid like that. Still, there's traded kills in towards heaven there as Plu and Bergy fall by the wayside. 
The myth, a little maybe concerned about flank here. Yes, so it's a setup in mid. Bom Bombard getting a little bit too close for comfort, and Randy Savage is on the scene. And the Renegades managed to contain Mythicals in the middle. Double face down, and it's an easy pick off. But in the meantime, Roka snuck onto the site. They thought it was just going to be the Phoenix making the foray, but there was much, much more. Retro goes down now, the 4v3. Roka playing from the bomb site itself was splashed briefly, but there's a Leer available. It doesn't help Plu, though, dealing with the buck. Give Winsome at point blank range. She comes off second best. Player advantage. They don't have enough information. They have to make sure that tower is clean. They don't know that ramps is clean. Meanwhile, drone is coming through. Bergy has to hold on. This is everybody coming in. SCP2 gets a kill as well. This actually might be over for Mythicals. And Hayes can't pull through. He's got the spike in hand with a couple of kills. Might even be able to plant as well. Uh, unbelievable stuff from Hayes there. Mid control was taken as well by Myth. So they still get a pin. So they have mad control. And that's right. Mad control of heaven. And Myth can now just sort of sit here at the bottom of rope. This is a pretty powerful poke, especially with Blue. Oh, but with some... Something oh must have God. tipped him off. He must have heard something there. Blue falls to the headshot. Left. We're in a 2v2. From the shadows, is up. Showstopper available for win some now. Myth, by the way, unspotted. I don't think that uh, Boombot actually got Myth, so he's still tucked away right now. They might be scared about it. They might think it's actually clear. Myth does a lot of damage. Kills win some, but not before the rocket goes off. And Myth still gets... Yeah, I mean, Retro would love to plant one. Fire in the hole! That's the showstopper. That's Clue. She's looking. Finds nothing. Wins some. Waiting in the wings. Is he able to pop out and get the kill there? But that's a double for Roker as he managed to somehow get out into heaven despite there being Blade Storm available. And that corner being watched. Wins some for his third. Fourth for the round. Devastating. But Roker, after getting three, has to find a couple more. Needs the ace. Not a lot of ammunition in the chamber either. And uh, we'll have a lot to play with. They get a little bit of aggression over to mid. Oh, well, rather than to A. Randy has gotten the kill. They don't have a lot of guns on. This is going to be a big round of Renegades to pick up one more. Win some from the high ground. Not able to find anything there. It's traded out. Here it goes. Rolling thunder. And that's the problem. Retro affected by it, but it doesn't matter. Red Paranoia. So dark cover rather just to get some coverage there on towards the elbow. And it will be a post plant now. Not the most open fight, but I think they can make it work. That's a lot of kills coming through. Roka and Beth getting four between the two of them, and that might be enough. Berg with just the pistol. Obviously, it is the anti-eco. Can't even get around elbow. The hot hands are there. And a 1v3 that I don't think is going to be possible. No this is where the cleanup will come through. Berg definitely has the one way. Win some can't see anything, but hopes that Myth pushes up. Retro. Able to fire through pretty comfortably. This should shut down this push through short pretty comfortably now. Drone is able to at least give... A decent account of himself, but he'll be trying to teleport out. Vulnerable for a moment. Fence over towards B and multiple utilities spent by Mythical Street for that. Win some again. Same position. Just sits inside his own dark cover. Again. Looks like Mythical's not ready for that one at all. He's able to find another kill as he backs away, but he was essentially pretty heavily committed. Mythical's getting a heck of a lot of value here out of a, a smaller buy. No reload here from Roka. There it is. Spike is still inside Hooker and Randy Savage is able just to be the custodian here. I mean, very difficult for Plune. She needs to find a way out of this situation and get the spike. Could try and do some damage on the way out, but... Okay, fault line. She's gonna at least force off the angle. Doesn't yield her a kill opportunity though, and Mergi eventually comes back to finish the job. Rolling Thunder to start off this fight. It looks like we're also going to hear Myth go for the run it back here. It doesn't help him much in the long distance challenge against Retro. Blue down. Retro's yeah. Knives now going to do some of the talking in a 4v4. The spike, though, hasn't really gotten close to the site, so not a complete execute here. Oh my, oh my god. god, what? That is so wrong. Win some with a double nade kill. Myth able to bring things back a little bit. I haven't seen something like that in quite some time. Now Myth has it all to do, and you have to think he's just mentally boomed after seeing two of his... So, so even if you have a gun, you're not allowed to use it. All right, so Drone, oh, he's doing the Sean Gares. I like this. Uh, not, not in its entirety, but he gets himself into heaven there through two dark covers, and he finds Randy Savage. Now, okay, shocked up. Oh, Myth! Okay, he held his ground there and knew it wouldn't do enough damage to bother him, and he gets the head of CP2 for his troubles. Win some, no more double nades this time for you, Sunny Jim. It'll be Mythicals to fight. He gets used when someone wants to challenge This... 
Could be messy here. Hey, doesn't quite spot it there as well. It looked like he was trying to go for a recon bolt, but it doesn't work out. And it's just the steaming corpse of Winsome that appears on the other side of the teleporter. It'll be followed up, though, by the entirety of Mythicals. And Renegades get caught on the wrong foot. Mid-rotate now. They have to turn tail and head back to the A site. Paranoia opens the way. Lear as well. Oh, and then through the teleporter once more. Mythicals are on a wild ride, and Renegades just want to get off gonna push now over towards Hookie here and looks like there'll be a B plan. Randy had to get a kill there. There's no way. If Randy just goes down for nothing, this is how Mythicals can win. I say that as Meth also gets traded. That's the spike down. That's actually really rough for Mythicals. They would have potentially already had a plant by now. Look over towards the back of spawn. Blue has a timing. You have drone going in there. That's a cleanup. CP2 down just to Burger life renegades. I mean, incredible timing for Burger though, just as Roker was trying to actually pick that spike back up. Old line hits Burgi, but he gets out of line of sight quickly enough. That flashpoint will require a head turn. And this should be a double face down by Clue and Drone if they put it together properly and they didn't even have Renegades who obviously on attack. We talked plenty about Renegades on attack, which is they're straight in <laughs> with some just on top of Blue and Haze as well. Just deleted. That's gonna be the plan. I mean, you can really close the difference with that blast charge, right? And Winsome now is chilling in vents, so. There's a good chance that Winsome has to face down three players from Mythicals here. Remember, there's there's two flashes, three flashes, in fact. Can't leave. So Winsome turns anti-flash, but he has the backup. Retro is behind, and the Mythicals get chucked. Hayes is trying to use Hunter's Fury from the back line. Means Winsome wants to go in for the kill, but the timing's not there. Hayes is able to recover, but oh. Retro says no. The double spray down now, and it's a 4v2 post-plant scenario. Hayes is in heaven, but he's not ready for Retro, who comes out. And says Hayes back to the 70s apps. Thunder. Might have to think about that for the read take or if they can read this. Might want to go aggressive and win some down early. Yeah, Roik has done really well on that angle. It's not the first time he's actually dealt with win some. This time with even less uh, adequate weaponry. And Drone getting rid of Retro here. Okay, somehow the Marshall buy up is paying off. This puts Mythicals at a much more powerful position now. Let's see you let me try and flash this one. Bergy gets rid of blue. I mean, going with the shorty is a tough one. Myth was just trying to bank on the fact that someone had pushed up B long. That wasn't actually the case. So, Renegades have options here. Recon dart fired off, and Myth doesn't seem to have been detected by it. This is where that shorty becomes a little more relevant. Randy Savage here with the paranoia tries to turn his back, and Myth again back to safety after attempting something with the shorty. Now without drone, this B long scenario looks a little bit more dangerous. Roker tries to assist, it doesn't work out either. And the mythicals are destroying themselves at Renegades and nothing seems to be working. Myth has to duck into the teleporter to stay alive. And that's bad news bears for the one remaining defender on site. It's hazed against three. I wonder if Myth can still heal up. Oh, we go. It's actually gonna be Myth against three now. Myth is completely unknown. They know that Myth is somewhere on Nay. He'll tuck away into the cubby. Still on critical HP. Bergie's on critical HP as well. So if Myth can he maybe get a double kill here if he finds a timing. You have to know they came from showers. So Myth, where you looking? Not at Randy Savage, apparently. Shock Dart exhausted now for Hazed, and so is his.